Oh well, guys, so much for an early spring. 15 inches of heavy, wet snow. And somehow, we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, guys. This is the aftermath from the storm that you're about to see. Early, early spring storm. March 23rd, I think it was. We are three days later. We were in the 40s on Sunday. We were in the high 40s uh, Monday. And we we're, I think we we're at like 55 today. Snow's going pretty quick. You'll have to hang in there to see what the totals were on the snowfall. But you can see right now, three days later with three warm days, the snow was still halfway up on my boots. Our logs were completely buried. They were completely buried under snow, but with the sunshine and the warm weather, the logs are starting to get exposed. And as soon as we can uh, get the four wheel and the log arches out here, I think we'll start putting some logs on the mill and cut some logs up. We got a nice maple right here, still buried under the snow but it's got a crotch in it and it's kind of like twisty turny. I think we're gonna find some, uh, it's a soft maple, so I think we're probably gonna find some uh, curly maple in it. All right, guys. It appears with the ground being thawed out, the moles have been busy in my sawmill building. The other night when I was sitting right here working on the mill, remember one came popping up between my feet there that was pretty funny. I built these bird houses for the wife. They're bluebird houses. Never knew how to build a bluebird house and uh Southern Outer Round Deck Outdoors, Andy, uh put on their instructional video how to build them, so I had to build three. And then, unbeknownst to me, bluebird houses have a specific height they got to be off the ground, and they got to be out in the open. They can't be around bushes and stuff. And there's all kinds of rules to go along with putting these up. So, that's what we did. Since I built them and put them up, <laughs> the bluebirds aren't coming around for a while. We've had all kinds of winter weather. Welcome back to our channel, guys. Two brothers outdoors. Got a early spring snowstorm. We've gotten over 15 inches of snow so far. I've got to try to get the snow off the truck and get the truck out of there to get the driveway and stuff cleared out. The ground is not frozen. We've had a warm winter. Got to be careful because this could lead to rolling the grass. Just like you're taking the sod off the top of a field. Don't want to tear up the grass. I've got my uh, duck hunting boots on. <laughs> Snow is over the top of them. Got to uh, get over here to the Jeep and see if I can get the snow brush out of it to um, see if I can clear off the truck. If not, got to head down to the sawmill and get the broom. And of course, when uh, they announced that we were going to get 15 inches of snow plus uh, a few days before the storm happened, I went to consult the caterpillar. You know, the caterpillar, we've been talking about him all all winter. We've had a nice, easy winter. He predicted it. But I wanted to go confer with him about uh, what, what was supposed to be coming. And he's gone. He's no longer in the sawmill building. He had a brother over here in one of the sheds. He's gone too. So wherever the caterpillars go to before spring, they've gone. Probably gone to Florida, right? So... 
I want to complain about the snow, but in reality, our turkey season opens up May 1st, and there's been years and we couldn't get in the woods the snow was too deep to go turkey hunting and actually one year we went down to the state woods down in the southern part of new york south of the mohawk river and we actually hit a couple of roads that were still closed from too much snow on them so we've had winters that last into may and usually it's about uh first or second week in may before we actually get leaves on the trees so it's been a gentle winter. It hasn't been bad. This is the worst snowstorm we had to put up with, and it was a bad one. And things made it difficult, like the ground wasn't frozen, so it makes it difficult to clear the snow, and the snow was wet and heavy. All right, guys, hang in there. You see how much snow we got on this storm. Let's go visit the storm. Okay. I gotta get this dug out enough to get the door open. Yeah. <clears throat> Truck started and started warming up. Getting snow off of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I got the truck cleaned off the best I can. Put the brush in the back, you can see the door is scraping snow that's how high the snow is trying to get this beast out of here and to the road where it's been plowed it's going to be quite the deal wish me luck okay we're inside the truck truck's warming up oh yeah <laughs> Well, let's see what we got. Well, so far I've moved about 10 feet. <laughs> this is not good. All right, guys, somehow we made it out to the road where it's somewhat plowed. Not much, but somewhat. I gotta see if I can push the snow out of the end of the driveway so I can start working my way down. It's hard to believe a week and a half ago the pond was thawed out and we had spring peepers just peeping away. And now it's frozen. Solid. Weather in the Adirondacks can be fickle. Isn't that neat? How that does that? That's so you can clean the bird nest out when they're done. Well, I got some of it plowed, but I'm stuck right now. Got snow all bunched up underneath the truck. Ah, this kind of shit sucks. <coughs> okay, guys. Ugh. We're up to 16 inches now. That's worthless. Ground being thawed out as soon as you get down close to the ground. The wheels spin. The snow turns to ice almost immediately. It's really wet next to the ground. So, I'm trying to snow blow it, at least so I can get the cars out of the garage and get out to the road. This has been one hell of a mess, guys. I don't guess we'll be using the sawmill for a couple weeks. All right, guys. So... It'll be a couple days if this weather persists, which I think it's supposed to, the warmer temps. This will all be gone pretty quick. Once once the dirt starts showing like right here, sun warms it up and gets rid of it fast. So we'll be back to the sawmill and putting logs on the mill and cutting things up. We won't be going up in the woods anytime soon. It'll probably take a week or two before it's gone out of the woods. 
All right, guys, it stopped snowing. We ended up with about 17 inches total. Usually, ooh, see how slippery it is? I'm slipping right here. This stuff is slick. Usually I plow all this out, all the way down to the pond, all the way down to the sawmill, and the whole front yard here, but this is all I can get done. It started at 11 this morning, and it's six o'clock now. It has not been an easy task. The snow is heavy, it's wet, the ground is not frozen, and it just makes things all that much di difficult. Got the truck stuck on flat ground right over here, just trying to push the snow white away from the garage. Wasn't even a lot of snow, I snow blowed most of it. And the truck wouldn't back up the small grade right there because it just spun, so I had to use the Jeep long cable to pull it up. All right guys, thanks for coming along with us. Hit that subscription button. Hit the like button too. And hit the notifications bell if you don't want to miss any more of our future videos. Yeah, we're gonna have a big avalanche right there. That's gonna come all the way down and pile up in front of the house. We got a lot of snow, guys. All right, thanks for coming along. Until the next one, we will catch you later.